my channel I know it's been a minute I'm excited about this video this will be a product review and again it is another product that has been hyped like crazy everywhere you turn everybody was always talking about this palette when I laid my eyes on it I was like this palette could be a hundred and fifty nine thousand dollars I'm probably going to invest in it it is the infamous Huda palette. I'm gonna give you guys the 411, my reaction, what I like, what I dislike, my honest reaction, honestly. It's just something I just had to try. I had to get my hands on it to see if it was worth the hype. Now, I did go on to uh, Sephora.com and read some of, the, some of the comments, and a lot of people were upset about a few things about this palette, but I will give you guys my honest opinion about it so let's jump right into it so this is how the palette looks nothing fancy it has the infamous eyes of all the Huda packaging I thought it was really cute and everybody likes to take their pictures like this it's so cliche I did it too so she slides out like this and um, this is the palette now one of the things that people were complaining about was the packaging so this is like a clear plastic um, top and the rest of the palette is cardboard I don't have an issue with packaging like I'm not that anal about products that I have to have like solid I, it, it wasn't a big issue to me that was one of the top complaints on um, Sephora's reviews about this palette it, they just did not like the packaging you guys know it opens like this so it reminds me of the MAC eyeshadow palettes you know um, they repackage the palettes to where you get a clear, and I, I actually like that because you get to see what you're working with. To be honest, the reason why I got this palette was because of these shades right here. I like these colors and I do appreciate them for being in the palette, but these are the sole reason why I have this palette. And I have this palette on my eyes. I did a complete eye look um, that I will insert into this video later, but you guys let's talk about the shadows now the um mattes are extremely pigmented um a little bit goes a long way it reminds me of the mattes from makeup geek makeup geek's matte eyeshadows are exquisite it only takes a little bit of product to you know just get a nice color payoff but these shimmers even know if you can call them shimmers I call these like foil shadows because if you are a Stila fan you know that they are almost the same texture as the foil shadows from Stila which I love if you have not tried those oh my god stop what you're doing go to Ulta go to Sephora go to Macy's get Pixie Dust from Stila the foil shadow it will change your life Dubai is a shade that I could have like not had in this palette because it's just, I don't like those greens like that, but everything else in this palette is amazing. Fling and Angelic are not the same formula as like the rose gold color and trust, yeah, trust fun. Trust fun is what I have on today. Girl, I'm giving you all kinds of life with this eyeshadow, I love it. Little info into applying more of the foil shades. A brush will not pick these colors up at all so if you own like a flat brush or maybe a cream eyeshadow brush I would not recommend those just like the ColourPop eyeshadows you are gonna have to use your finger so I like to use my ring finger and just lightly tap or dig into it don't dig into it because you'll move the product these are extremely pigmented so they don't need to be like scraped and rubbed in just kind of wiggle your finger over the product a little bit and I lightly tap it in Oh my gosh. Again, something else you may want to pair with the foil shadows. Uh, NYX has a glitter eyeshadow primer that I love to pair with this because I've noticed um, I use rose gold one day without the uh, glitter primer and it moved all over my lid. So you want that foil shadow to kind of stick to something. So always go in with a glitter primer. 
again, the palette, I'm going to make this review short and sweet. Um, the palette was $68. I got mine from Sephora. The first time I went into Sephora, they had sold out in a freaking day and I was so annoyed with that. The Sephora where I worked restocked. They had a bunch of them. It's a little bit something different. Like a lot of brands are coming out with palettes that are starting to look the same. I will say this is a palette that is different. It is unique. These like matte shadows here are bomb.com. The only other one that I probably would never dabble in is this color suede here. It just would not fit my skin tone. I, I don't know what I would do with that one. I don't have any, I don't have anything bad to say about this palette. And if someone comes in cardboard, it does not matter to me. It's not a big deal to me. The colors are amazing. Oh my God. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you have not, went out and grabbed this palette. Girl, good luck trying to find it. Again, I know people like to go on reviews about products and I say go get it for yourself. If you don't like it, go take it back to Sephora. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for the look with this palette and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.